Mark, Solly Hole on Saturday, what's your thoughts ahead of the game? Yeah, we're hitting them at a, a very good time. They're, they're banging form. They've uh, you know, been one of the standout teams of the, of the division, for sure, and they're rightly riding high. Um, and we've got to use that challenge to really bring out the best in us. That should only sharpen our focus, sharpen our hunger, because we want to be competing with teams of that, of that ilk and that, and that quality. And we've got to really stand up and be counted and show that we're ready to compete and fight for our league status and our careers. And, uh, you know, pl playing the best needs to bring out the best in us. You touched on the last three performances in your post-match. Obviously, you said, you know, competing in these big games and making sure we are put in a contest, whoever we're playing as well. How important is that as we look into the next few games of the season? Yeah, it's vital. Like I said, we've got to use that, the challenge of playing against uh, the best sides. To You know, they're setting the bar. That's the bar we've got to get to to compete in this league. And uh, I said, we're learning a lot of uh, valuable lessons along the way. We've got a really young group getting some valuable experience. Um, we've had a little bit of continuity in the side. We've still got a handful of players out as well, which are starting to pick up their rehabilitation. So hopefully, you know, there's going to be competition for places. We've got to make sure we finish this season strong. It's a lot of football to be played, everything to play for. Um, and, you know, our, our league status, like I said, our, our careers. And, um, you know, we've got to make sure that we equalise some, some poor form that we've had earlier on in the season a couple of times, you know, where it's gone... Feast and famine, where we've had um, you know two longer periods without some points on the board, and we don't want to go back to that dark place again. And we've got to use that to to motivate us to you know light the fire in our belly to to fight for 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 those points and secure our status as quick as we can. You touched on the injuries there. Obviously, what's the latest on some players? I think of Kev Locko, Harry P, you know other players like Sinclair as well, to name a few. Yeah, we've had um, quite a big uh, training group um, yesterday and today um, to. Um, players coming back, picking up their rehabilitation. So we've sort of got a group of players quite close together now. Uh, Ryan Glover missed it with suspension. It's so obviously got Corey, Kev, Toby Edser, Harrison Paniatu all taking part in a, in a training session. Um, so, so that's good. Hopefully they're starting to come back um, together, which will give us uh, a headache because, um, you know, I've got the squad starting to come back together. But we, again, we need to be careful because some players have missed large periods of this season now. So we're going to have to reintegrate uh, you know integrate them them carefully and plus the shirt is um, you know a lot of people putting that shirt on and not giving it up is um, you know which is is great to see and they're, they're the problems you you want to have but there's a, a real together group in there you know like I said the, the hardships that we're going through has only strengthened our bond and our togetherness and we're going to need that till now to the end of the season and there's you know, some healthy competition hopefully, um, you know, starting to arrive. You know, I haven't been able to leave anyone outside the squad the last three games. You know, we've just about finished the bench. We've had Jordan and Garlo come back off loan and join us, who's been a, you know, a bit of a project. He's in the background. He's been, he's been working hard in training and been having a really successful loan at Hayes and playing some good football down there with them. So, um He's, he's, he's got on the pitch today, so it's great to see him in the in the Aldershot shirt. I know how much it meant to him and how hard he's been working for that. So, um, yeah, I feel, you know, the performance was positive. Players coming back is positive, and we, we've got to keep feeding this feel-good feeling around around the changing room. Um, and only we can only do that by working hard in training and, and getting positive performances on the pitch. See the young squad as well. I look at, you know, some of the players coming through now, you know, not too many players over the age of 25 in the squad, you know, if not younger, and... With that sort of optimism of this season going into next season, how important is that to see where we could be next season as well? Well, definitely, we're racking up. The young lads are racking up a lot of appearances now, and that's you know that's on their CV, that's banked in their, you know, in their in their experience. And um, you know, we're we're usually the young. I think we're virtually every week we're the, we're the youngest team, but we're also some of the older players are still, uh, you know, haven't got loads of. Uh, National League appearances under them. You know, it's really Kins and Cody have clocked up quite a few. So, um, in terms of experience, we're, we're we're probably one that are, you know, haven't got loads of it in and around the group. But what we are doing is we're gaining it as we go along, and that's going to be really valuable for next season. Looking at our last away game, obviously, Yeovil was a really good performance there. How important is it to continue that good away form as we look to continue that as well? Yeah, when you go away from home, you've got to show grit and determination. We've got to make sure that we're a defensive resilience and um, you know what we've shown there we've got to really use that um, you know to give us confidence in, in going forward away from home you know it's, it's we've got some real tough games coming up but we've got everything to fight for and everything to play for and of course with Solihull as you mentioned it's one of the informed teams but you want to be competing against the best and showing what you can do against these top teams yeah uh, yeah that, that 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 is for sure we've got to, we've got to show that we uh, how much it means to us our careers and how much it means to us to play for this football club but also um, 
we we got to be re reaching the standards of them. That's what you got to do to survive in this league. Um, you know, there's no no hiding place. Every 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 time you step out onto the grass in 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 this in this league, you're going to be tested. You know, in in every which way as well. So um, yeah, we're we're excited. I'm excited by um, what we've gone through at the moment and what you know how we can come through this period and and what lies ahead of us. But um, at the moment, it's just you can only focus on the on the here and the now and uh, you know how we prepare for a big game coming up. Are you in with the shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.